It's quite shocking, isn't it, this revelation? So this is from this new book by Tom Bauer um, called Revenge, funnily enough. It's like very, very bold, about what the Queen apparently said on the day of Prince Philip's funeral. So it's, it's, it's actually fascinating. It's beautifully written as well, and it's just full of these kinds of revelations. And it, what it really sheds light on from his perspective, is the kind of PR machinations of Meghan and Harry, like how everything they've been doing the past couple of years has been so tactical. And it even has a section about um, back in the day, 2017, Meghan's uh, interview with Vanity Fair when she was on the cover and the tagline was wild about Harry and how angry she got about this tagline and ran the office and then said that the Queen would be ringing up to complain about it. And of course, the Queen didn't care. So, you know, there's just so many revelations, fresh revelations, actually, about how they behaved. So, I mean, whether it's true or not, I mean, how... It's hard to think that it can't be at this stage. I'll tell you what I find about this, though, is that obviously Harry and Meghan, well, Meghan, was, was criticised for not going to the funeral. Right. She got a lot of criticism. Mm. Oh, you haven't even got the respect to go to the funeral. When actually the Queen's, if this is true, saying, well, I don't want her there anyway. Right, yeah. So it's like she can't do right for doing wrong. She can't wrong. do right for doing wrong. I mean, she can't. But I think just, like, the, the sheer avalanche of information in this new book, you know, it seems it's difficult to kind of think about them in the opposite way now. But then, of course, there'll be something else coming out about them to counter it, I'm sure. Yeah. But this is a particularly renowned biographer, actually, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, 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 he's exactly. done a lot of... Yeah. He's done a lot of so things. So his, his sources should be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that... I think when they quote royal sources, you never quite know how quite close know. any of those sources are. <laughs> but we have to also remember, and it was an incredibly sad day, because that was the day that the Queen was, on was photographed on her own with her mask on mm. and everything. And that uh, is a photograph that gripped the nation, I think. And then we found out subsequently that the night before there'd been a massive party. In, in, <laughs> in Downing Street, well, yep. A bit of cake and a glass of Prosecco. No, no, that was a different one. Yeah, that was it was, that was, this was a big booze, though. That's yeah. the one where they were out in the garden and they broke the, they brought the suitcases and all in. That. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was a different one. Oh, right. Mm. There, was, there were quite a lot of parties. Wasn't that, wasn't that, wasn't <laughs> See, we can't remember the difference cake. between any of them now because we've yeah. heard about so many. I don't care anymore. <laughs> no. We stopped talking about it now anyway, so that's we shouldn't yes, bring it up yes, again. No, that's not <laughs> <laughs> still <laughs> <laughs>